when, when I think about these issues, I want to frame it in terms of a meta question, which is really the question of how theology and ethics relate to technology. Um, the picture that I have on the screen here is a, a famous um, Renaissance painting of the Tower of Babel. So you recall the story of the Tower of Babel in, the, in, in Scripture. Uh, so the, you know, the people are gathered uh, in one place and they decide they're going to build this tower that reaches to the heavens. And for some reason, uh, the building of this tower is uh, something that God disapproves of. And there are various interpretations of this story. Some of it has to do with city building. Uh, some of it has to do, I think, with the way we think of technology, the way we think of human invention and ingenuity and how far it reaches and where it reaches. And of course you know the, the results of the story, which is that God confuses the uh, people's language and he scatters the people throughout the earth. And th again, like I said, there are many ways to interpret and read this story. I don't think that it is a story against the building of cities. I don't think it is a story against the use of technology. Um, but I do think it is a story that suggests there are um, ethical, theological, and, and worship-related consequences to how we think about things like technology and the proper use of technology in relation to our role as, as creatures and as stewards of the creation. And, uh, and in recognizing that we are not ultimately God. Um, so when we think about these very sensitive and very difficult issues at the, at the beginning of life, uh, in terms of the structure of life, which is our, our genetic code, and in terms of the, the very end of life, um, there are some really serious questions that we have to consider.